Now we've looked at actually how we use BEM, we're going to harness the power of a CSS preprocessor. So if you've not worked with SAS before, you can head over to saslang.com and install it. It works on all operating systems. And once you've done that, as long as you can run SAS V and you can see the version, you are good to go. So I'm currently within the directory that I'm working in. We're gonna create an, uh, a few files here and we're going to compile into this app.css file. So let's start by creating an assets folder. And within this, we usually place all of our scripts and our styles. So let's just create a styles folder for all of our styles. And we're going to start by creating our base SAS file or SCSS file. So we're going to be working with the SCSS syntax, but we're going to later on look at using the SAS syntax when we create some mix-ins and how this is going to look even better. Okay, so we need some kind of modules or components directory. So let's create our modules directory here. And the first module that we're going to create, or really the only module we're going to create to demonstrate this, is a list module. So we name this with an underscore so we can easily include it. And again, we're using the SCSS syntax. Okay, so let's just test this out. Let's just write anything in here at all. So let's just say list, and we'll give this a color of red. This really doesn't matter. We're just going to see if we can get this to compile. So inside of app.scss, we obviously want to import this. So we say import modules list. Perfect. So now to watch this, we can obviously run sas h to find the syntax. And if we scroll up, we can see here that to watch, we use the watch flag and then we give the input name and the output name. So in our case, because we have our assets directory and then within that we have styles and our app.scss file, we just run sas watch and we go into assets, we go into styles, we want to compile the app.scss file and we want to put that within css app.css. So now that is listening for changes. So whatever we make changes to, this will automatically compile. So if we look inside of here, you can see that that indeed has compiled. So we are pretty much ready to go. And we already have that included over on our index.html page. So let's start to write out our list styles. Let's get rid of this color here because that doesn't really matter. And remember we had a list style type of none. So that's great. We can have a padding of zero and we can have a margin of zero as well. And let's go and write the markup for this. So we want an unordered list with list items. The class here is going to be list and we need to now work on our element selector. So to do this within SAS, we can obviously just say list item if we wanted to. And of course we could then just say something like margin bottom 10 pixels and we could then apply this to our list items. So here, list item and let's just add an item in there or we'll duplicate that down and change the text great so this should now show us our items if we just inspect this we can see that as expected we now have a margin on the bottom so now that we have this how is this any different to writing a flat css file well of course it is no different but we can actually tidy this up and we can nest elements without creating a actual nest. So really within BEM, what we could do is we could say list list item, but of course we're now costing the speed of having this rendered. So we want to nest this without ending up with this. Let's just take another look at our app.css file. You can see that we have a perfectly flat file here. So how can we nest in here and keep this nice and flat? Well, we can use the root to do this. So let's just get rid of our list item and we'll rewrite this out. So to do this, all we do is we say ampersand, we do underscores and we say item. So now what's going to happen is this here is going to take the root name and place it here. And then we can write our styles as normal. So we can say margin bottom 10 pixels. So taking a look at our app.css file, although this is indented just within here, this is actually a perfectly flat file and we've actually made our code look really nice within our list because we know now that a list has an item and of course we can add a modifier in here as well somewhere.
So let's add the modifier for our item. Again, we can nest this to make it look a little bit nicer as we read down the page. And all we do is we say ampersand, and then we could say last, and we can set the margin bottom to zero. Great, so let's just apply this to here. So list item last. And now if we just take a peek inside of our app.css file, you can see that again, this is a perfectly flat file. It's just been formatted like this by SAS. Great, so that will work now. And you can see that our last does not have a margin bottom. So we've got this up and running, but really when I'm working with BEM within SAS, I don't like the way this looks. If you're happy with this, that's fine. You can go ahead and write all of your styles like this, and you're now using the BEM methodology, but you're nesting as well to improve readability. However, what we're going to do next is jump on to look at how we can use mix-ins to make this look even better. And then finally, we'll jump on to look at the SAS syntax to see how we can make this look even better.